today I will tell you something about passage plan and all the details about all the records that we write in the man movement book so how do you plan a passage suppose we are going from point A to point B there are a few things that we will be writing in the bell book one is one hour notice to engine room next is standby then comes a ring full away then comes commencement of sea passage then comes end of sea passage and sea steaming and harbor steaming first of all you will be pra planning a passage from point A to B it will always be from birth to birth the distance will always be from birth to pilot boarding ground why we do this is we need this for uh, the distance of sea steaming this is sea steaming and for harbor steaming suppose you start your voyage from A to B first of all you will be giving standby engine on departure and you will be reaching the pilot boarding ground again the voyage will be to the pilot boarding ground then comes RFA then comes COSP then comes EOSP and standby engine what is RFA RFA means once you are do, uh, finished with your maneuvering speed the engine is put into full ahead even if you are putting it to full ahead the engine requires some time to come up to the full RPM so it's up to the master if he wants to take the distance of sea steaming from COSP to standby engine or from RFA to standby engine so the time between this RFA and COSP is the time required for the main engine to increase the RPM to the full away RPM how you calculate it is you start from point A till the pilot boarding ground the pilot will be taking your ship away then starts the RFA suppose take it as the RFA is the place where sea steaming starts so this total distance comes under harbor steaming then from RFA to end of sea passage this is sea steaming then from end of sea passage you go to pilot boarding ground or anchor this is again harbor steaming and from anchor back to your berth is also harbor steaming this complete distance is harbor steaming and this complete distance is again harbor steaming and this distance is the sea steaming I got I think you got a good idea of how all these things work out now every day when you are at sea you will be filing a noon report this I will explain to you in the next video also whatever times you write try to write it in the multiples of 6 suppose you are having 1 to 
30 as your RFA make it 1230 do not make it at 1 2 3 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 because it will be very easy for you to calculate the distance and the corresponding time so always we try to give this timings in multiples of 6 thank you I think I have explained to you about how this all works out